Hello and welcome to anything and everything nerd style. <laughs> you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Dead serious. Now, without any further delay, please, let's get into the show. Hell yeah! Let's do this! I'm waiting! Turn up! Ah! Boy, I'm glad all that's over. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Hey, Alright, y'all ready? Yeah. Let's go. We Let's have, to, we have to get done before Coleman has to leave, so we gotta make sure not to talk to him. Me much, too. Though. I'm I'm leaving at one. Alright, so Hey, how's it going everybody? Do you like nerd shit? Because we do too. Welcome to anything and everything nerd style. I'm Clinton Ritchie. That's Coleman Ritchie. Hey -o. That's Kyle Powers. That's Kyle Action. Powers. Hola. <laughs> and then my co-host for Hola. my nerd out, James Orr. Howdy. <laughs> Sorry for my voice. It's uh, trying to go out. No, nah, your voice always breaks. We're not worried about it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about... Nice. It's Man Squeak. Uh, Die Hard. The uh, <laughs> 1988 movie. The year I was born. Hell yeah. This, is, movie ever. this is Coleman's uh, pick. Wasn't James born that year too? Yeah. This is Coleman's pick. He's going to be taking control on most of this one. Kyle, do you got that fun fact? I don't have one. I thought you said you were going to do it. No, I thought you have a good, bunch of good ones you didn't want me to. Oh, I've got you a gonna tell me. I never said that. Oh, I think... I've got a fun fact. So this series of Die Hard movies. Well, that's the purple actually... go. He said something like, I got a bunch. Kyle. He's it's talking. actually made off of a book series from, let me look. What yeah, actually, this was is it? the second book in the series, and it was called... Uh, right, uh, adapted by Thorpe's novels in the 19, uh, 1987. So it's... Uh, hey, that's year I was born. Well, th like, this is a series of books... And these are, like, all the Die Hard movies. Well, the first, like, I think three were what adopted from the book series from Thorpe in the 1987. And it's adopted from the book. This is actually a sequel. The first one had uh, Jane, uh, for not, something for not, for not, uh, well, well so he, the first, the first one wasn't actually a Die Frank Hard. Sinatra. Yeah, Frank no. Sinatra. There you go. It wasn't really. It was more about a Russian. Are you talking about uh, Frank Sinatra played in the actual first one? They wanted him to play in the Die Hard before they changed the name. But Die Hard, uh, he was too old. He's like seventy something years old. So they wanted to go ahead and get uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger or. Uh, Sylvester Stallone, but they couldn't get either one of them. And then uh, this is actually Bruce Willis. You're gonna say that this is Bruce Willis's first movie ever. This is his actual first movie. Before this, though, he played on a uh, TV Moon show. Lighting. Yeah, Moon a, lighting. he was on a TV show where he was like a comedic, a comedic actor. So they didn't really want him at first. They actually didn't even put him in the poster because. He they they didn't want it to come off as a comedy movie, comedy action. Well, it, it a, comedy slash drama. Yeah. It was like a comedy slash drama kind of like type of thing. And they were like, "Are y'all sure?" And they're like, "No, he's a good actor. Like he just plays his role in these." But um, I think that what was the name of that first one? I had it earlier, but it's it's actually a whole different basis than what Die Hard really is. Um, I got something. Go ahead. It James. was Thor something or tough, tough something. Haterman. Right, tough nut. Tough nut. Hey. <laughs> tough nut was the first one. Oh, yeah. So I got my. Goose. That was the name of the title. No. Yes, that was. Yeah, it was the name of a title. Uh, 1967. Tough nut. Movie. 
be tough nut. I got something for you guys. So check out my movie in nineteen eighty eight. We discovered. Die Hard was originally meant to take place over three days. The original Die Hard script called for the hostage situation to last over the course of three days. But director John McTiernan, uh, I'm hoping I'm saying that right, um, inspired by Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, decided the film should take place all in one night. Yep. That's pretty cool. Instead of making it three days, they made it one night. Do you think this was like the opening reason why he got the part for Fifth Element? They're like, man, that dude was dope and diehard, man. We need to get him to play. He played in he played in a few movies between. He played in a a few movies in between this one and Fifth Element. Fifth Element was later nineties. Bruce Willis. It was like nineteen ninety six or something. I think it was like 96, 97, 98, somewhere around in there. But he had, yeah. like, after this movie, people are like, oh, wow, he can he can do, and he did multiple things. Yeah, uh, that's he what I'm saying. One, he also did one, like, The Color of Night or something. Um, Don't let your kids watch that movie. He, We're just going to say that right and now. And you can see. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, how old is that movie, and you can see. Oh. I got it. I got it. You you could, go ahead. Die Hard Two came out in nineteen ninety. So, right. Well, it's like he's he's well, like you, you a can see Bruce Willis in that movie. Ninety four. Okay, Kyle, you're you're like cutting out. We can't hear you. Please. You can see Bruce Willis's stages of him going. I, I keep stopping talking because there's some pages of him going bald in all his movies until he gets to the element. And then he starts getting bald. Then you go like to red. He's bald. Yeah. So. Sorry, I thought it was funny. The the cover for this movie was New York City police officer, policeman John McClane is visiting his estranged wife and two daughters on Christmas Eve. He joins her at a holiday party in the headquarters of a Japanese-owned business she works for. But the festivities are interrupted by a group of terrorists who take over the exclusive high-rise and everyone in it. Very soon, McLean realizes that there's no one to save the hostages but him. Good. The Lone Ranger. Good. So, I mean, they literally nailed... Hey, like, one kind of what it is. It was Hey, just letting y'all know, Kyle left. He was having internet issues. He should be here next week. I know he wasn't here last week, but he should be here next week. So, back to the show. Okay. So, anyways, I love how this movie, it's just like, it's kind of coming in, and then it just shows him on a plane. You know, mm-hmm. there's nothing really leading up to it. It's just boom. Shows him on a plane, guy's next to him, he's all gripping the, you know, the seat, like, super hard, and he's like, not a big fan of flying, he's like, oh, what could have gave it away type of thing, and he's like, oh, I've been doing this for nine years, and he's like, what what you gotta do is just whenever you get to where you're going, put your bare feet on some carpet, and, you know, make knuckles out of them. And and so, feet you know, make, make fists. Oh. Yeah, make fists with that, your feet. Yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. Make, make fists Sorry. with your feet on the carpet. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, that's nothing really major. It just shows two people talking. And mm-hmm. then, you know, it shows them landing. He gets up and he sees the guy's gun. And then he's all like petrified because he brought a gun on board. Well, like, back in the 80s, that wasn't that uncommon. For a, police right, well, for a police officer, for, of course. Yeah, for an officer, it wasn't a big deal. That's what I'm saying. And but the guy was all like, <laughs> like petrified type of thing. He was a time traveler, and he's like, <laughs> he was all like, "Don't worry, I'm a cop. I've been doing it for 11 years." Yeah, you know. So it was just kind of funny. So you know, it goes. He's going through the airport. You know, he's walking around. And as he's passing by the people who have names, he finds the guy with the name, you know, Argyle, Argyle. I, maybe one of the best characters I agree in with the that. movie. <clears throat> well, you also forgot that it cuts over to the... Uh, the Oh, the scene. Uh, yeah, the just the party scene. Party. But we can skip that. We can add that together on the next one. Exactly. He gets in the car. He gets, uh, you know, I'm John. I'm John McClane. And he goes, this is my first time 
Or he goes, what now? He goes, I don't know. I was hoping you could tell me this is my first time driving a limo. Riding in a limo. He goes, it's my first time driving one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they take off. Uh, they He put, he sits there and asks him a bunch of questions. He in the puts car. the teddy bear in the back and he rides up front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he asks him a bunch of like, questions about his life. Go ahead. He's like, he's like, oh, you're really quick, Argyle. He goes, yeah. He's like, and and the funny thing is, he's like, you know, do you always talk this much? He goes, well, I used to drive a cab, so you know, <laughs> people liked a little chit chat, right? Yeah. So it was all about the wife and how their estranged relationship really was. Yeah, was she she got a promotion, was. and he stayed in New York to put down the bad guys instead of going with her because he thought that she was gonna give up and run back to him at some point did i get that right like i said you're sharp argyle so <laughs> they get to what's the, the what's the point in packing if she's just gonna come back yeah <laughs> <laughs> so they get to uh they get they get the to nakatomi yeah to uh, nakatomi plaza mm-hmm. they they get there and of course some uh christmas parties going on she kicks out her intern because she doesn't want to feel like uh, Scrooge. Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Every, I kept Ebenezer on wanting to call him Scrooge, Scrooge McDuck. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Same person, just different, you know? <laughs> so that she didn't want to be a Scrooge. She said, go ahead and go home. I don't want to be a Scrooge. She no, said, going to party. Yeah, she goes, do you think the baby can drink a glass? And she goes, <laughs> I think I think the baby's down to party. Ready to ten bar. Yeah, it's in Maybe bar. The baby's probably ready to ten bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she goes off, and uh, I guess she joins the party too, right? No, uh, that's when uh oh, what's his name joins in? Uh, Coke addict. Yeah, oh, he's I can't all. Think of his name. He's uh Ellis. He's all trying to Ellis. Yeah, he's trying to give her uh get her to go on a date with them. Because. Pretty much. I mean, he's trying to Mac yep. is all it is. And, and like, you know, then, you know, John gets there and it's showing up and he shows up. Argyle's all like, Hey, well, here's my number. I'll sit in the garage. If you strike out, like, do you have somewhere to go? He goes, I'll figure it out. He goes, well, if you strike out, you can give me a call. But if, if things are going to work out, then call and let me know. And so he goes in the building. He's got to go and put, you know, find he walks in and he asks for Holly McLean. Yeah. And he's like on the screen, so he puts it in. She's not under McLean. So he's uh puts in the G, her maiden name's there. What's and the maiden? It's uh Gennaro. Yeah, Gennaro. Gennaro. Damn. G E N N R O L. E R O. Yeah, E R O L. Oh E R O, sorry. Gennaro. Mm-hmm. No L. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, it's G E N N E R O E R O. Sorry. It's not on the questions though. Okay. Shit. <laughs> so I thought about that, but I was like, her name gets said constantly. Through this yeah. Movie. Gennaro. I didn't even realize it. And so I was, uh, writing it down. Yeah. A hundred, like the fifth time you're like, Oh wow. I better have this by now. <laughs> <laughs> Within the first ten minutes of the movie, yeah. So you know he, they're like, oh, that's the party. That's the last people left in the building. Well, golly, you just told me to put in the, you know, find who I was looking for. So he gets sent up to the thirtieth floor. I love it. He gets off the elevator, and a guy just comes up and hugs him and kisses him on the cheek. Well, and this tells is him Merry Christmas. This is something I didn't understand. He didn't tell him the floor. But he said, just keep going up the elevator to hear, hear the music and get off there. He says it's on the 30th floor. And then he said, but follow the music and, and, and get off there. Yeah. In my head, I was thinking if he's following the music, he's going to end up passing the floor and have to go back down. Or you're going to have to hit every level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. So, anyways, he goes. All that happens, he finds his what or he's walking around, and uh, Mr. Takagi is like, Oh, John, you know, and he walks John in to Holly's office, and uh, he's like, Well, this is her office, but Holly's not there. Ellis is sitting there doing coke on the damn desk, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
what's his first name? Nakota. Oh, I almost made Na- that, but Na- Nakota me. His middle name's even worse than his first name. <laughs> like not, I not almost... to not to Comey Plaza. That's what it is. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Nakatomi. Nakatomi. Nakatomi is right. Sorry. But that's not his first name. It's not Nakatomi. Uh-uh. Yeah. No, it's... it was like it was like a name that started with like a J, and then the middle name was like an N word, but it wasn't Nakatomi. But it was super long, and I was like, "Man, that's just that's that's savage to ask for something like that." Like his his middle name is probably the amount of letters that's in my whole name. What's his last name? Not gonna tell me what. Takagi. Takagi. That's right. Takagi. Yeah, and, and they would have used if they were gonna name the building, they would use the last name, not a first name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just you know. So, you know, he takes him in there. He's like, hey, this is Ellis and everything. And they're all kind of talking. And then Holly walks in. You know, she's like, oh, John. And she kind of like, it's very standoffish. But like, she walks over, kind of hugs him, kisses him on the cheek. And then like, she's talking to him. And Ellis butts in. He's like, oh, you should. uh, Oh, show him the watch. I thought you didn't. Well, he's like, I thought y'all didn't celebrate Christmas in Japan. And he said, well, we're flexible. And uh, he said, well, we're also celebrating. We closed a major deal tonight. So it's kind of a double thing. And then Takagi, uh, what did he say? He said something. He was being a smart ass. He joked around. I don't know. It's pretty funny. I don't really remember. I know that there was a lot of funny shit in here that was like little subtle, like especially Bruce you Willis. Re- you forgot how funny this movie was. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good, especially like with Bruce Willis saying some crazy stuff while he's fighting. Yeah, oh, God, or like whenever he's climbing through the vent, come out to the coast. We'll have a few laughs. Yeah, he's like, now I feel like now I know what a microwave dinner feels like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nine million so, uh, terrorists in the world, and I got to kill one of them that has smaller feet than my sister. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he he was fighting that one guy, and he goes, "I want to, I want to cook you, and I want to eat you." <laughs> oh yeah, Carl at the end. Yeah, Carl at the end. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. So, anyways, Ellis and Takagi leave the room. She's there. She's like, "Oh, well, you got to get, you know." You know, do you need to get freshened up or whatever? And obviously, they go over to Ellis's apart, uh, office. Yeah, he says, uh, "Do y'all because... have anywhere I can I can wash up?" Mm-hmm. And she takes him to uh, her office. No, I think no. It's Ellis. Yeah, Ellis is. Yeah, because she said, "I'm I'm eyeing his private bathroom." Yeah, that's which right. Which is why I kind of figure this is Ellis's office. Yep. Uh, and he's in there, and you know. She's all all like, you know, uh, what are you going to do after the party? And he's like, oh, I was thinking about bunking with the captain. He retired out here. And he, he's like, she's like, oh, where's that at? And he, he said, Ramona. She goes, you mean Pomona? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and he's like, I guess, whatever. She's like, you'd be in the car half the time. We have a guest room. Why don't you just come to the house? Who was the, uh, who was the person that she... That- that took off captain roberts captain roberts that's right that's right sorry yeah but i wasn't really trying to name his name right. so obviously it's not in the quiz yeah captain roberts. i'm mainly trying to hit the things that i but yes captain roberts was the one so did i write that down oh well it doesn't matter. as all this is you know He's getting ready and everything. And as they're kind of just sitting there talking back and forth, it starts showing this huge Pacific carrier box truck, you know, coming in to the building and everything else, you know, good badass Ford truck burrowing down. And it goes into the parking garage and it starts and it goes up and it goes into the loading dock. And as it's backing up, like it's already you know, closing down the little bridge for them to come on. And these people take over this building and literally 
five minutes. Dude, that black guy made it so convincing. Theo, he just walks mm-hmm. in. He's all, I think he's talking about football or baseball. And then he mm-hmm. just puts his arm down and that dude, I feel sorry for the, baseball. yeah, I feel sorry for the, uh, the, the dude watching the front desk because he's just sitting there, you know, he's not like really anything. And then they shoot him immediately. Poor guy. Hate to have that job. Yeah, that guy. He got he got screwed. It, it, that, I think he's talking about baseball at the beginning, and then all the other references for football. <laughs> it was okay. like it was kind of weird because he was talking about like a home run, and then all the rest of the stuff was like, "Oh, I got fifty bucks on this game." That was a Notre Dame football game. Yeah, uh, and oh, you know the quarterback is down. Down the the hand. The quarterback is down. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but you know they take over. They lock all this stuff down. He finds the the rooms, and so it cuts back to him and his wife talking. And uh, so then she's like, you know, why don't you come over? She offers him to stay. She's like, the kids miss you. They would really love to have you there. He goes, oh, just the kids. She goes, well, I miss you too. And then he. Does the whole guy thing? He's well, like, he goes, well, you didn't miss me enough to keep my last name. Yeah, he goes, well, you didn't miss, <laughs> you didn't miss your last name. And she goes, yeah. are we gonna do this now? <laughs> we well, had this talk in July. I thought it was and April. He goes, we never fin-. No, okay, in July. July. And he said, we never <laughs> finished this talk in July. Yeah. And then as they're talking, you know, her secretary comes in, and he just is like, uh, and like stops talking. And she's like, uh, they want you to come and give a speech to the troops. And he, and, oh, right before she said that, he's like, well, <laughs> like yeah. he's kind of like a sarcastic, like, well, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She goes, she has to go and speak to the troops. And then uh, he says, you know, what are you doing? You're messing up. I'm like, what's wrong with you? The, uh, the, then it cuts back over to the bad guys, right? And they're getting all, they're all in the, they're in the elevators now. Right. They're in the elevators. They're locking everything down. Theo like locked everything down. Uh, the, the main bad guy, this was actually, his, yeah, this was actually his first movie too. Uh, before he did all this, he only played on uh, like in plays. Another fun fact. So as they back up and the people come out of the back of the blocks truck, if you look at the beginning, there's no ambulance behind them. It is something that they had to cut in at the end of the movie because they actually had a different ending set up for all them for them to get away. And they were like, oh, no, what are we going to do? And then they cut the ambulance coming out. But they forgot that one scene of putting the ambulance in the back of the box. Well, truck. they can't they couldn't put the ambulance in the back, back of the box truck. They tried and they actually had to do a uh, that like there, when, there wasn't enough room. Right. When they when it's coming out, it's all actually uh it's messed with. It's not uh, the ambulance. Computer animated. Oh, yeah, well, it's not really animated. This is in the eighties, but like it's uh some little TV tricks. <clears throat> whenever it's coming out, you if you look real closely, it lo- looks a little weird. It's because it's not actually coming out of that truck. Yeah, yeah. I but I've seen that actually on a uh, documentary of movies that made America. Oh, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> I was I was watching all kinds of stuff this week about Die Hard. Yeah, uh, it was definitely like. So, anyways, so they're riding up and like they just take over the party. They start shooting as soon as they go in. Not necessarily shoot anyone, but kind of just gather them up like cattle. Yeah, they get them all herded together, and then he Hans comes in and starts saying, "You know who is." And that's well, when they on. say his actual whole name. Before before that, he's sitting in there and uh, he's watching everybody because they're all shooting the guns. He looks over at the exit. They never actually turn around. They're still coming this way, but somehow he makes it to the exit. Well, that was because they all started looking at that naked chick walking out of the room. Oh, yeah. Wait, hey, chick, there's a naked chick in this movie? Yeah, and actually... Yeah. Actually, you get out on a desk. The the naked chick is actually a playmate. A what? A play what? A playmate. A playmate from the oh, Playboy like Mansion. Playboy? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's hot. <laughs> but well, he he Sorry, kind honey. of freezes at first, but like that's whenever they're trying to get everyone gathered up. Oh, he was on the phone with Argyle though. Yeah. 
trying to tell and, him that it, it was still out. The power, power but, got cut. And then um, Tony was down, and he was getting all of the the stuff to where none of the emergency things would be cut, and those would still go through. Yeah, so but Carl goes in there. Warm. Carl goes Carl in there. Carl goes in there. <laughs> And just start the chainsaw. <laughs> and uh, I love just that. a whole bunch of yeah. Sorry. And he's like, "Oh no!" Just yelling at him. <laughs> Tony, if, by the way, Tony and uh, Carl are brothers. They mentioned that later on. Yes, so, they are. That's the one he's talking about. So well, and that's probably why they were fighting like that. You know, he's just like, "Whatever, do your job." Like. <laughs> probably. Which one do you think's older? Uh. Well, you know, I do think that Carl got more of the control because Tony died. So I'm not sure which one would have been older, but I do think that Tony was probably more of Carl's main guy before he died. Oh, okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. Because if you if you if you really think about it, whenever he starts asking, he's like asking Tony to do everything first. Mm-hmm. Carl comes in later. He, I think he's more of a hothead than 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 Tony was. I think Tony had probably a better head on his shoulders, more business like. Right. So what? Uh, what happens after that? He escapes. Let's see. At least. So yeah, like they they walk in and they're about to go down to his room, but you know they walk into the office before them, and there's the girl getting plowed. He's topless, and as she's getting escorted out of the room. The guy turns this way and he shoots, I guess he shoots across the hall and he goes up and he's like, okay, well he's on level 30. He gets up to 32. He looks on 32. There's construction. He goes and looks on 33 and there's computers. No, that's, that's backwards. 32, 32 is computers. 33 is construction. John, the quiz. I'll bet you on it. I'll, I'll, I will. I'll put it in the move. I'll put it in here. Okay. I, I like wrote, I'm telling you. I wrote it down. 32. And he goes, computers, 32. 33, construction. Or construction's 33. Yes, and then he says computer again. He says computer twice. And computer then was 31. No, it's 32. 32's construction. 33 is computer. So, anyways, he goes. He, you said he got in the fight. He sends him down. And he goes, now I got the machine gun. Um... He ends up going, he gets the radio, goes up to the roof, broadcasts a signal. Whenever he broadcasts a signal, they're like, the, the people at the, the police officer is like, this is for emergency use only. And he's like, what do you think I'm trying to do? Order a fucking pizza? Yeah. Pardon my French. I apologize. <laughs> that is the movie line. Nope. That's, um, keep going. So, so then they're like, and then it shows Hans and them. They're like, where would they be brought? Oh, he's on the roof. He's on the roof. So then they all kind of go after him. And Carl is all like, he, I'm the one who gets to kill him. And he takes um, a couple people with him. I don't, one of them was Marco, and I'm not sure what the other one's name is. It is not Hendrick. No. Hendrick is, is the one who was putting the bombs up. The, the blonde, the other blonde, right? No. No, he's the he is the guy that yes, the other blonde. Yes, Hendrick yeah. is is he yeah he is blonde, but he doesn't do a lot of the talk. He's the first one that gets shot whenever yeah him whenever and Marco, Marco goes in the room. right. Mm-hmm. Well, he's the second one in the room, but he's the, the first, first one to get shoot. shot. Yet, mm-hmm. I got gotcha. you. So that happens. You know, they end up sending a black and white just in case. And this is where Al shows up. Al Powell. Al, dude, the whole time they were saying his name, I thought he kept on calling him Powell, like Powell. Until yeah, I, like, hey, Powell. Yeah. Until you, until you were reading the subtitles. Yeah. Like, oh, that's Powell. Oh yeah, Powell like, or Al. I was like, damn it. <laughs> so, you know, that all comes up. He he goes up, makes a circle. He's like, where'd they get this guy from? Uh, Oh, I forgot what he said, but the little joke that he made about oh, how he yeah. was controlling. 
He made a little joke about how he was patrolling. It was uh, pretty funny. Talladega or something? I don't know. I don't know. But right? he's like, hey, I found I found one more. You know, I see a security guard. I'm going to go in for a closer look. He goes. The guy comes out with like a Texas accent or a southern accent. He's like, hey, how are y'all doing? Like, <laughs> oh, this. Dang it. I'm, I know? got 50 bucks on this game. Yeah. I got money. I got money on this game. That's what he says. Oh, he says fifty bucks. Oh, okay. Um, you know, uh, Notre Dame just scored a seventy-six yard touchdown uh, yeah, to make it seven zero. Mm-hmm. And he's like, "You mind if I look around?" And he's like, "No, have at it." And he goes walking down the hall, and he's like, "You know what? Fuck this." I'm. He, he said, "Forget this," and goes to leave. Tells the guy. Uh, he goes and lets him out the front door. He calls it in that it was just, you know, uh, a mishap. And as he goes to back up, John goes ahead and throws Marco on top of his car. Which, let's admit, that's a pretty badass scene. Yeah. <laughs> and as soon as Marco comes down, then everyone starts shooting. He throws it in reverse and just starts going backwards. Yeah, <laughs> he don't even go, he don't even care what he was going. But the funny thing is, is he said, "Oh, I would have later on in the movie." He goes, "Oh, I would have taken you for a street cop with for how you drove that car." And and yeah. I was like, "Really? I think you drove horribly." <laughs> <laughs> uh, that old that part car unit one ten. That part after he got down below the hill. He was still getting fucking shot. I was like, he can't even see the dude anymore. There's no way he's hitting those bullets. And like, it's got to be able to drop, you know. It's just, wasn't making any sense to me. But this is a 80s movie. They messed up a few things, to be honest. Yeah. So, well, they actually made this movie. I think it was like within 30 days they made this movie. So they made it on a super tight really low budget yeah bruce willis actually wasn't even going to be able to be in it at first but uh his his co-star that was on the tv show with them she ended up getting pregnant so they had to take some time off and that opened up lucky yeah that opened up for him to go do die hard who the co-star for moonlighting yep he said who bruce willis's uh he said lucky or whoopi lucky oh sorry Oh, they said Whoopi like Whoopi Goldberg. No. So then, you know, Al starts radioing up, or he radios down, and he's like, or no, Al radios up. He's like, hey, you there? And he's like, hey, were you the guy in the car? And he said, yeah. And uh, they kind of have a little conversation. And, you know, he said, well, what do you want to call? What do I want to call you? And he's like, let's just go with Roy. Yeah, Roy. So, from Roy Roy Rogers, the Western. <laughs> so, uh, then pretty much, then Hans kind of butts in a little bit into their conversation because he said, you know, this is a party line. And he, he says some stuff, and as the cops are getting there, then it's pretty much back to Hans and them trying to. Well, it goes get to the new. It goes care. to the news guy too. The news guy hears the radio call come in whenever he's oh. getting shot, and he says, that "Please, you know, I got to go take this. You know, I'm going to be the first person to get this story. I'm the only one that knows about it." And he said, "You're not going to take me off this because he was going to send another guy who was already out over to it." Yeah. So then he so. lets him take this. Uh, he said, Grab "Truck number five. Truck number five. That's right. Truck number five. Truck number five. So then he, yeah, he goes off. I like it. He, like the anchor guy, he told him to shut up and he was all like, yeah, Harvey. Confused. And they're like, we're alive. Harvey, Harvey Johnson. Yeah. yeah. He was all confused whenever the cameras first came on him. <laughs> and then, uh, gal, gal, Will, Williams, Will, mm. Willens, W a Wallens, Wallens. Gail Wallens is the Ch- Waylands. Wallens. A W A L L. I thought it was W A I L I N G. Oh, that might have been what it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No. Oh. It doesn't matter. I thought it was Wallens. Um, 
Yeah. So that goes on. Then they're, they're like, and as they're coming up, the cops are kind of getting it all done. That news truck, man, they just start going on the grass and everything else to like barrel their way into what's going on. Right. And they're pretty much. Just kind of going and getting ready. And Captain Johnson, which there was a lot of Johnsons, two FBI agents, or it was Johnson Lieutenant and Johnson. Chief or Johnson and Johnson, but then wasn't it Lieutenant Chief Deputy Johnson? I don't Robert, know. Robert, I think his name was Robert Johnson as well. Oh, no, like, Dwayne Robertson. Oh, Dwayne Robinson. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Dwayne Robinson. But anyways, he gets there and they decide they're going to go in. And so they start getting everything kind of secured because he doesn't believe. He's just like, he's like, the guy in there says that there's 30 hostages. He goes, for all we know, he's feeding us false information. He goes, what about the guy who landed on my car? He's like. That could all be, yeah. Uh, that could have been a, a sad stockbroker. Yeah, a sad <laughs> stockbroker <laughs> who jumped, jumped off the roof. Yep. So they're all going out and they're they get, getting ready. They get the lights up up on the building. Uh, John sees this and he's like, he freaks out. He's like, "What? What are you guys doing? You're, you're coming in here? Are you serious?" And they're like, uh, "He goes, look." If you if I if you're who I think you are, you would know when to be quiet and shut up, and to pray. Of course, and he's, when to pray. Yeah, and when to pray. Listen, you you know when to listen, when to shut up, and when to, and pray. When to pray. Yep. So he goes, <clears throat> Jesus Christ, man. He says that a bunch, and yeah. then uh, the people start to come in. Han tells them, "Don't go crazy, just wound them." So in other words, don't kill them, just shoot them. Uh, then they call in the truck. The truck comes, but then they go and grab an RPG. They shoot the One RPG. of the funniest parts, though, yeah. of the movie was the guy who goes down there. He's waiting on them to come up to the front door. He get, he hides in behind the little snack bar. And he's sitting there with a the gun, and he looks down, and he reaches down, and he grabs him a candy bar, a good old Mars bar, and yeah. uh, starts eating him a Mars bar while he's waiting. I thought you were going to say the funniest part is uh, after they blow him up with the RPG, they take it. He goes, hit him again. He goes, God damn it, Hans, Hans you've made your point. And he goes, uh, thanks for the, oh, I'll keep that in mind or something like that. But hit him again. And he shoots him up, shoots him. And then uh, Dwayne Robinson goes, come on, guys, what are you doing? Get them out of there. They're burning. <laughs> he got hit with two RPGs. They're dead, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Get him out of the car. Well, they, no, they, that, it was an armored truck. It probably didn't. It blew you know, up like bad. Well, it showed people jumping out of the, the vehicle and running off. After the second shot? I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah. But, I'll, I'll agree to disagree. <laughs> well, I'm just saying in the movie, it shows two people getting out and running off. <laughs> shows those people laying down beside it that got shot by uh, the dude eating the Hershey's. And he's like, they're returning fire. And he's like, they're shooting at the lights. Yeah. They're not. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, it's, they're shooting at the lights. Right. After, the after. Guy's always behind. After they uh, RPG the the, uh, the van, though, uh, John gets pissed off and he takes some C4 and he tosses it down the elevator shaft. And I don't know how this didn't blow up the building but or catch it on fire, but no, nothing happened. What blew all the windows out? Yeah. <laughs> and destroyed the floor. And some paint Put job. The computer. Yeah, I think it was because elevator shafts are concrete and then it's metal. So it yes, it opened up, but it kind of contained the actual destruction of everything else into a into a, a place. So it was just some of the explosion is what Excuse. you know. Yeah, I got you. You're right. So what happened after that? So then it actually starts, then it starts, the news people actually start coming up again. That's right. And he's all, they're talking to a psychologist who's supposed to know all about this stuff. And he's all like, this is the Helsinki sy uh, syndrome. And he goes, Sweden, 
<laughs> and he goes, Finland. <laughs> the guy, the guy, the guy who is the the expert corrects the the reporter, the yeah. anchor guy. The reporter's and name is uh, Richard Thornburg, too. Right, but he's not the one who got corrected. It was right. the first guy. Uh, what was the other guy's name? Harvey. 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 Yeah, he yeah. Corrected yeah. Harvey. Harvey. Yeah. yeah, Harvey Johnson. Harvey is all trying to be all smart and stuff. So Sweden and I looked at him was like, oh, it's Finland, you yeah. moron. <laughs> yeah. So that goes. Then they're talking. I I think that. Oh, Roberts gets on the 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 radio with, what's his name? He's like, you're you you destroyed part of a building. You're screwing us up. He goes, look here. If you're not part of the hell, if you're not part of the the solution, then you're part of the problem. Put the other guy back on the phone. Uh, Put yeah. the other guy back on. Who the hell are you? Who the hell is even this? <laughs> He's like, yeah. I'm uh, Captain Johnson. Lieutenant, or, yeah, uh, Lieutenant, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Chief. Dwayne Johnson or Roberts. Yeah. I don't know why I kept fucking Dwayne remember. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Dwayne Roberts. Yeah, but that shit was funny. Uh, after that, they, he fucking, I don't, I don't remember. Hans is just like, you know, cops are always inevitable. And they they were needing. It's just inconvenient that they're here this early, right? And they're still trying to break the code. Oh, which you know the the code. Man, I didn't go over that earlier. And I don't there's know if I there's can do you now. there's seven locks, and he broke five of six of them that he can actually right, break. And the, the, the seven... first lock was the actually the password that Taka- they were trying to get for Takagi. Well, they just needed it. They needed a Tagagi's password to get in the computer, so because they knew that the computer controls the locks, which right. they they needed a password for, of course. Yeah, like you were saying, so. right? Which was like one of the weirdest passwords I'd ever seen. It's it showed a password. Yeah, it's Red Castle. Red Castle. Yep. Okay. Remember, it's like going and it shows Red Castle, and then it goes. Oh yeah, on that Wheel of Fortune lock, thing. Unlocked. Yeah. The yeah. okay. Okay, the Red Castle password. Yeah. <laughs> so, lucky oh. to get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so even Clinton's like, I got to remember this one. Yeah, Clinton, you're fading out, bro. I'm looking. I'm, lo- I'm trying to figure out where the fuck we are. Oh, so you're writing then, down shit, huh? No. Then what it is is. He's uh he's talking to Al and he's like you know what there's a couple things I need to to figure out and he starts going back through the building and that's when Hans is up because he now has the blast caps. Well, and this is also right whenever Ellis decides to go in there and start trying to negotiate. Because that guy he's he drops seat four and then Ellis tries to negotiate. Oh yes, Ellis tries to negotiate, and that's when they find out who John McClane is. <clears throat> and He's like, uh, yeah, buddy, you're my friend. Yeah, I was just telling. He goes, Ellis, what all did you tell him? Oh, you know that we're old pals, and I invited we went to you college together. Yeah, I invited you to the Christmas party, and he goes, John, or he goes, Ellis, you don't know these guys like I do. You know, they're killers. They're going to yeah. kill you. Tell them you do not know me. Well, I, how are you going to say that after all these years? <laughs> I mean, you do got to give him a little bit of credit that he didn't like throw Holly under the bus. I thought he was going to at first. Well, I mean, I don't know. I think if they would have given him more time before they shot him, he probably would have. Hey, come on, he is, what are you doing? This is radio, this is, not, not, not TV. Yeah, not TV. <laughs> okay, sorry. I just had to get that out there. So so he starts looking around and finding things. And as he's going around, Hans is up looking at the stuff, trying to figure out what's controlled. And as he's coming out of a hole, he runs into John. John has a gun on his cheek and he's like, oh, oh, God, no. (laughs) No, you're one of them, aren't you? Oh, did you know? That uh, this is the first time that they actually met, like met while making the making the movie. Oh, what's it? Yeah, like because they, they, they wanted to keep it kind of like genuine. They had to do three takes though, because uh, his, his accent just sucked. 
and like they didn't like his accent and even the third one even the third take that they did really wasn't that good but they didn't want to do any more than that because they wanted to keep it like fresh like this is the first time they're seeing each other yeah mm -hmm. so then you know he's like he's like oh no you got to come over here i know where he's like no there's guys all over the roof we can't go up there he's like if you want to stay alive you stay with me mm -hmm. so he follows him he goes over there he pulled a pack of cigarettes out of Tony at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And he looks at it. There's two cigarettes. He goes, do you smoke? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he takes, he takes a cigarette and gives the other one to him. And he's got Hans kind of leaning up on this wall where there's a list of people and where they work and everything else. And John starts kind of questioning him. And he's all like, hey, I'm John McClane. And he goes, I'm Clay. Bill Clay. Yeah, Bill Clay. So, he, you know, they're smoking cigarettes. He's like, well, do you know how to work one of these? And he's messing with a gun. I went to a firing hey. range once when I was uh, young. With a red paint. Yeah, he goes, you know those little guns that shoot the red paint? <laughs> and, he goes, and he goes, well, you're, you're about to have to become an expert or something. Yeah. So he, he looks at the gun, gets it, gives it to him. He's like, it's the real deal now. And he goes to walk away, and he hears Hans on the radio in German talking to him. He goes, man, you Ooh. should be an actor for... Yeah, uh, it, the the fact that he was speaking German and the actual first cut they didn't really he didn't really speak German they had to edit all that stuff in there because uh, they was just saying a bunch of gibberish that sounded German. Oh okay. Yep. Sorry. So yeah. he uh, he's like, man, you should be on TV with that accent, and and he's all talking to him, and he's like, what are you gonna do? And he's got the gun on him and everything. And he goes to try to shoot him. He goes, oh, no bullets. What do you think? I'm st I'm stupid. I think he says the F word, too. <laughs> and oh, takes, no bullets. Takes the, <laughs> takes the gun back. But as soon as he takes the gun, the, the elevator opens. And he has to take off running again. And he goes into the computer room. Yeah, you forgot that the FBI has already showed up, too. Oh, have they? Yep. They were just yes. getting there. Yeah, FBI shows up right before John and Hans meet. Right, just right before. It's fine. That's they only introduced yeah, the Johnson and Johnson. Off, right, right, right. Right. So, so they're all going, and yeah, Johnson and Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> this is Johnson. No, the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they go. And he's in the in the computers thing. Hans does notice that he doesn't have any shoes, so he tells Carl to shoot the glass because they are he already capped two more of them while they were while they were fighting. He shot one in the elevator and another one he shot, and then he landed in the glass and like you know oh, almost yeah, like yeah. yeah. So then they shoot the glass, but at John ends up getting and running into another exit. Whenever they do the flashbang. Yeah, okay. Do you know the first time he did a flashbang? Was it actually necessary? He's hiding around the wall, rolls it, and that guy's like not even paying attention. If he he could have just walked around the, the corner and guard. yeah, he could have yeah. just walked around the corner and shot him. There was no need for that flashbang. Well, you know, they were being careful. They didn't know how many there were. I think he just wanted to use it. <laughs> I think it looked like a ho-ho, kind of. Did it not? You know, it kind of did. A little ding-dong <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the circle chocolate ones are. It's kind I of think ho-hos like. and ding-dongs are both circle -ish. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it like one's hostess <laughs> and one's, uh, what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> he, he loves this conversation about, oh, ding -dong. Oh, James, you, got, you got something to add in yeah it just, it's, 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 it's so uncanny that they would name ho-hos and ding-dongs like boys and girls parts <laughs> I didn't even think oh. about the ho-ho <laughs> I'm sorry oh, I'm just going to go back to meet myself now yeah I got a fucking headache <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Yep. So, anyways, then it cuts away from that, and then now it's Johnson and Johnson, and they're going to do the terrorist playbook 
by the oh no it showed hans asking for people to be let go and it was some people in norway and then it was a quebec and then the asian dawn yeah i didn't i didn't remember any of that i just remember he was asking for terrorist people to get let go yeah. and then he goes yeah. do you think that that they're actually going to do that Pfft, who cares so he says yeah, pretty much. yeah he, he's all like asian dawn he's like <laughs> I read about him in the Times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so then, you know, they're going through their terrorist, terroristic playbook. And he finally, uh, Theo finally gets through all six of the locks and the time release comes shutting down and locks the bolt. Yep. Well, they, when they, when they go, when the FBI go to get the, the, the electricity shut off. They go and talk to Walt. Walt's down in the hole, and he goes, mm -hmm. he goes, uh, I can't just shut it off here. If I shut it off here, or there's no cutoff switch. If we want to shut it off, we got to shut off the next ten blocks. And he goes, yeah. shut it down now. You want to keep your job? You're going to shut this down. So he gets on the radio and he calls and he says, Hey, this is Walt. We need to get this place shut down. And he goes. <clears throat> what what are you talking about if you get that shut down it's gonna be your ass he goes i know it's my ass just shut it down <laughs> sorry go ahead yeah yeah i need you to cut grid 212 yeah mm. what's it grid 212 grid grid 212 yep good job coleman i'm glad we didn't get into another discussion about this <laughs> <laughs> well, all mine have been correct i'm gonna tell you that right now <laughs> <laughs> movie mistakes i'm gonna say that <laughs> so anyways they shut it down and then hans is like it's christmas and the vault comes unlocked and everything else and they go in there and they're and as johnson and johnson are walking back they're like i bet they're shitting their pants and they're in there they might be shitting their pants but even the way that they are they're all super happy season because they just got to the 640 million bear bonds yep man so they're all getting everything ready and this is when the movie goes like super quick he's like hey in five minutes we're gonna go up there with chop choppers and uh we're gonna give them choppers in five minutes let them you know set it out they call in to get fully loaded choppers ready and the choppers show up and he goes, they're not expecting gunners. They're expecting uh, people like people to pick up other people. So we're going to get the jump on them. Uh, but when they get up there, when they get to the building, there's only, there's only the people up there because they have done rushed everybody up. They, everybody's up on top of the roof. The people show up, but John's up there taking his gun, firing, telling him to get off the building. Cause he found, he found some uh, explosions, explosives. What? Not yet. What happens before that? He fights. Carl fight. Oh yeah, he fights with Carl. That's right. As he's trying to get up to the roof because he's trying to get Holly, but they take Holly. Hans takes well, Holly. No, no, it's before that. Find, he, he looks at the picture. He he finds he finds the uh, explosions on the roof, and he call he starts to call it in, call Al, and he's like, "It's a double cross. They've got explosions it's all rigged." And then he like uh, Carl puts the gun up to his face, and he and goes, "We're both fighting, professionals." And that really butthead news reporter goes to John and Holly, to Holly's house, puts her kids on TV, asking for mom and dad, and to please let them go. And Hans figures out from oh, seeing the kids and the kids in the picture, and he picks up the picture that's laid down, and it's John. So he takes Holly. Bum, bum, yep. bum. Yeah, and she goes, so "You're just a common thief." And he goes, I'm an extraordinary thief. And then now that I'm into kidnapping, I'd watch what I'd say if I were you. <laughs> I'd be more polite if I was you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so then go ahead. Carl, Carl and, and John are fighting and it's really a back and forth. It's actually a pretty halfway decent fight scene for the eighties for a gun for it to just be fighting. You're going in between levels and they're hitting each other and like, Clint was saying earlier, he was like, oh, Carl's, I'm going to go ahead. Carl's that blonde headed dude, right? The long haired, bl blonde headed guy. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Like the one that looked like he's from uh, Norway. Yeah, kind of. Or, uh, yeah, I think so. Isn't that weird? Or, uh, 
Finland? No. Shit, I don't remember. Germany? Maybe. <laughs> well, they, him and his brother were in this movie from Germany, but I could see where he might have been mistaken from like maybe a Norway type look as well. Maybe Polish, you know, whenever they took over Poland. Yeah. Anyways, they're fighting and he's like, I'm going to kill you. Even whenever John's getting beat up, he's still mm-hmm. telling this guy, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Like, you got to give him credit. <laughs> like, even whenever he's on his back and getting hit, John's still like, I'm going to kill you. So he's finally sitting there and they he's going up the stairs and he smashes his head into some pipes and they start heading up the stairs. And then Carl put pulls him and like he's trying to push him off the stairs and he grabs some chains and he wraps around his neck, pushes him and yeah, and then hits him against the wall. And then you see Carl just hanging from these chains by his neck, and he goes up. He's like, "Where's Holly? Where's Holly?" He's telling everyone to get off the roof. It's gonna explode. And all these dang California people, all they do is like, "Oh, what?" Like they're just standing there. So he has to start shooting to get them mm-hmm. to start moving. And right. whenever he starts shooting, the the people in the helicopters are like, oh, no, they spotted you, sir. He's like, swing around. We'll get him. So as he's shooting to get them to go off the roof, the agent starts shooting at him. And he's like, I'm one of the good guys. And he takes off running and he jumps off the very top helipad area yeah. onto the next level down. And that's where he has to. And then he's like, Woo, it's just like Saigon. He goes, I wasn't even born yet. Or, no, he said, I was in junior high, I think is what he said. And yeah. so they're swinging around to come get John again. And he gets all the people off the roof. And they're like, oh, no, everyone's coming back down. And he's like, it doesn't matter anymore. Just blow the roof. Well, he, he they're working on blowing the roof, Hans is. And John grabs the fire hose that's in the mm-hmm. back of Clinton's screen right now. And he ties it around him. And he's like, if I make it out of this, I promise I will never go in another tall building again. <laughs> and he runs and jumps off the side. And as he jumps off the side, the, the fire hose breaks off and then at least hangs. And then the roof explodes. Then the helicopter Goes into the the roof. John swinging down, hits the window. Then he has to shoot the window. And you know, in a lot of movies, they showed like people kicking. Like he kicked the window, but whenever he swung away and shot it, he didn't come back in with his feet. He kind of came in with his shoulder, yeah. which I think was probably a little bit smarter, especially since his feet were already jacked yeah. from running through all the <laughs> glass before. <laughs> he gets in. He's like, and all of a sudden the the hose thing falls over and it's going down. And then John's working on trying to get the hose off of him. And it looks like maybe his feet are on like the top of a desk that's left or something. And so he gets it out just in time rolls and it goes away or it goes down. And then it shows John going to look for Holly on the 30th floor where the vault is because she's with Hans now. But he looked at his ammo and he's only got two bullets left. So he puts all the bullets into the pistol, tapes the pistol on his back and goes in there with an unempty uh, with an empty assault rifle. And he's like, "Hans." And um, I have a, I have a question. How the hell did he take that to his back? Wait, you forgot. It was Christmas. It was Christmas stuff. They had some Christmas wrapping paper and stuff. And it was mm. Christmas tape. Yeah, but I mean, you'd have to you'd have to like hold it back there and put it back. I think what it was was he put the gun on there and then he put had, oh. put the tape on it and then he kind of put it and then stuck it down. Maybe like he laid that. it down. Maybe he laid it down and, and did it like that and then just let got on lay down on top of it. Yeah, I don't. I'm not exactly. I don't sure. know. It doesn't show that, right? I always wondered how he got that gun on the back of his back. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he laid it on the ground and he and he rolled there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the uh, you forgot the part where <clears throat> what's his face? Ar- 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 Argyle, Argyle, 
Oh, yeah, right. Argyle punches um, the dude. Theo, Theo goes down to get the ambulance and for their escape, and he sees him pull the ambulance out of the back of Pacific Carrier truck, and back, and he's going around, and Argyle sees him coming out. He's like spying him, and he pins him in the thing, jumps out of the limo, and punches Theo and knocks him out. He's like, Whoa. so then. So that that was just that little part. It was not very long. Um, then it just shows John, and he's just like dragging one leg, and he's like Hans, and uh, he's like they they do some talking, pretty much about like so this is just a robbery. He's like, well, when you steal six hundred dollars, you can disappear. When you steal six hundred million dollars. They will find you unless they think you're already dead. And he's like, now put down the weapon. He puts down the weapon. Holly's face just like, is like, oh, oh my God, now we're dead. And, and he puts his hands up and he's sitting there. And he's like, what is it that you said to me earlier? Yippee ki motherfucker. Oh, yeah. And I got something else about that. He just starts laughing. Go ahead. Whenever he says yippee ki motherfucker. Uh... The the producer or the director or one of them wanted him to actually say yippee Kaye. And then Bruce Willis was like, What what if I say yippee Kaye? And then they did both both cuts and they like Bruce uh, Bruce Willis Bruce Willis's more than the other one. Yippee Kaye, I mean that just doesn't sound right. You think it would have been that used even sound fun. Yeah, do you think it would have been used uh, as as big of a catchphrase? Because you know, that was a big catchphrase after he said it. You don't think it like it probably wouldn't have been as big if he would have said Yippie Taye, right? Uh, who knows? I mean, it was a major part of the movie, so it possibly could have gotten it, but I do think that it was definitely better this way. Definitely. So, so as soon as he says it, he just starts laughing and laughing, which he's laughing so much that Han starts laughing, and then um, the other guy who's down with him starts laughing too, and then he... Shoots Hans and then shoots the other guy. Two bullets gone. Everything's. He better be glad he did not fucking miss because that was yeah. the last two bullets. Yeah. So. So he gets his. Holly falls in, or he goes kind of starts to fall, and him and Holly start hugging. It starts showing them coming out of the building. The end of the music is going. Well, you forgot. And after he shoots her. He shoots him. She grabs on. He grabs on to Holly, and almost yanks her out the window with him. Oh, you're right. And, and they're like, got, "Oh, I sure hope that wasn't a hostage." When Hans, when he took off the Rolex, right? The uh, bye Rolex. The expression on his face was actually genuine because whenever they had him hanging up there and they were going to drop him, they told him that they were going to drop him on three, and then they go one uh, click. <laughs> 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 so he was like <laughs> like that was a genuine reaction yeah mm -hmm. pretty cool yep but anyways they get down they they get in front of the building and i guess he's looking for al and al is sitting there and he goes up and he gives him a hug and he's like hey is this your one your your wife and he's like yeah this is her and so pretty much sorry, had to get that off my screen. Um and all of a sudden out of nowhere it's ah and Carl's sitting there and boom 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 three fifty seven. Al just drops him. First Heck time yeah. he shot anyone in the last like why do I not remember that? Top. Carl, how do you out? not remember that? That's at the end of the movie, Carl dude. Carl was hung. How the fuck did he live? He, 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 well, he was never actually like, he went, he came out in a blanket. He, uh, like, he wasn't like hung like where the neck would have broke. I think it could have, like, you know, made him pass out. They then they whenever they got him out of the building, they were bringing him out in a blanket, and he throws the blanket off, and he's got the gun, and Al Al shoots him, and then they were taking they, him right out after, in a blanket, and they didn't take his fucking gun. 
right at oh, I don't know. Right after that, <laughs> I thought he was dead. all of a sudden, Argyle busts through the garage gates, coming up, and now pops right around with a gun, and he's like, no, 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 this one's with me. This one's with me. <laughs> and Argyle pulls up, and the Christmas song, well, the weather outside is frightful. And, uh, and as they're starting, as they're, and they're starting to walk bum, bum. to the car, uh, the news reporter's now back from their house. He's trying to ask them what's going to happen next, and Holly just decks this guy and drops him. Well, he doesn't drop him. She decks him and breaks his nose, and he holds his nose, and they walk away, get in the get in the the limo, and they drive off. Yep. <clears throat> it's a really good movie. If you have not it checked is. it out, make sure to go check it out. But other than that, uh, least favorite part, go. Least favorite part? Oh, my God. The fact I didn't get to freaking watch the movie. Well, that's a, pretty bad. Yeah, it is pretty bad. I, I waited until today to watch it, too. And I'm like, I can't watch it. No, this is stupid. Um, my least favorite part, if, if I go off of memory, is the guy, I guess her boss, uh, starts talking about how he knows uh, who they are and he's all coked up. <laughs> oh, that that was Ellis. That's hmm. not her boss. He is well, anyway, a... He's a yeah, dickweed. Okay. I think he's yeah. trying to. I, if I remember correctly, he was trying to play for her heart, or at least to sleep with her. Yeah, he was definitely trying to mac on her. That's my least favorite part. I'm. Uh, what's yours, Coleman? My least favorite part. Mm-hmm. Um, probably the fact that that news reporter went to the house and put the kids on national TV, like. Not the fact that, that was in the movie, but that was just such a horrible move, move on his part. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, man, that that horrible. For me. But every person played their part well. So I, I got I understood it. For me, the way Tony died, I thought was stupid. They had like a little tussle and he they both rolled down the stairs, but he breaks his neck. But there that that has happened. I know it does happen, but come on, that's that was a that was a weak way for him to go it, out. I think some of it was also the fact that he had the the gun strap around his neck. So as he's going down the stairs and he's trying to hold the gun, that that also helped jerk his his neck into different ways. That it does suck because that probably would have been his biggest competition. Yeah, I just don't like the way he died. Um, favorite part? Yippee ki yay, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. Think, a lot of the parts with um, Argyle, he, I think he just adds that little. Like, even like the little scenes where it shows him in there listening to the radio, talking on the phone, and Al was all going in reverse behind him, like, and he was like oblivious, just like his little character in the movie. Throughout the movie, I really liked. I think it added a lot to it. Like he's right there, didn't even realize it was going on until he heard it on the news. Yep, he's he's all. I was part of. My, sorry, my favorite character. I mean, part was also Argyle, but when he goes and punches uh Theo, I love that part. He's like, boom, yeah. <laughs> he's all like. <laughs> yeah. All right. Everyone get pen and paper or whatever. I'm already ready. You know what time it is. It's time for that quiz. So I definitely right. tried I tried to get now the very last question is a bonus question that has nothing to do with the movie, but it has something to do with the character. But it's just for fun and I won't have no points come off of it. I'm probably going to, I'm not going to do very good on this one. Uh, oh, excuse me. No, um, you're really good at listening. Yeah. And I, sure. I went over, I went over <sighs> just about, if, if you paid attention to what I said, I tried to hit every bullet point. Well, I'm going to miss a lot of them and I even repeated them. <laughs> All right, everybody. Sure I got to do this real quick. Get ready for that quiz. All right. 
So how long has John been a cop? Oh, I got this one. I remember it. I remember it. Oh, my God. All right. Ready? 11 All right. Years. 11 years is correct. 11 years. Both, both of y'all get a point. See? Y'all, y'all started off so good. <laughs> Shut up. Don't fucking jinx it. <laughs> All right. What does the guy that tells John Merry Christmas do to him whenever he first gets up out of the elevator on the 30th floor? Huh? So a guy comes up, whenever he gets off at the Christmas party, a guy comes up and is like, Merry Christmas. What does he do to him? I was so confused at first. I was like, what is he talking about? Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Let's go. He, he gives him a hug and kiss on the cheek. Yeah, he kisses him on the cheek. All right. Yep. Both point. Look at that. How y'all are going to miss these? Fucking Californian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's a good one. Here's a good one. What make is the box truck? Fuck. Ah. Uh... I made sure to say this out loud when I was talking about yep, what was on the did. side. I'm already ready, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hear this one. Can I possibly pull a win out of this? Yeah, for sure. I put so, Volkswagen. Ford. Ford is correct, James. I said this big Ford box truck barreling down. <laughs> and I was like, I probably should remember this. Yeah, he's a fucking AutoZone, per- I mean, O'Reilly's person. All right, let's, let's, looking at speedometers also, and shit. I had, I had to put this in because he drives a Chevy. <laughs> Odometer, sorry. So here's 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 a controversy question. What is on floor number thirty three? <sighs> Remember, I showed y'all I'm when gonna, he was walking I'm out of floor thirty three. Said, but I'm not going to put what I thought it was. But you did see. A floor number and what right. he's seen on the floor. Right. That's okay. why I thought it was a movie mistake. Okay. And it might be. Construction. Computers. Computers. <laughs> Clinton, uh, Clinton see, you, now look, 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 look. Y'all fucked me up. Right? I got me twisted. Oh, there's back and forth stuff. You should have listened to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Movie Here's mistake. another one. Here's another one that we, we I tried to make sure these names were put in here. What okay. are the brothers' names? Oh, the bad guy me. brothers' names. Probably the most said uh, names <laughs> that we use throughout the entire thing. And actually, the one guy's name's only said twice in the whole movie. Oh which yeah. Is why I tried to say that name as much as I could. I'm done. You ready, James? No. I think I got one of them right. I'm ready. Carl and Ellis. Ellis was Carl a good Tony. guy. <laughs> I have oh. guy too. <laughs> Tony and Carl. Carl uh, with a K. Let me ask, do I get a half point? What's the point? <laughs> so, so the whole thing about that is, even whenever I said Tony and Carl, he goes. Clinton goes, yeah, and they were brothers. <laughs> right after I said their names together. Yeah, I might not have been paying attention at that point. All right. Here's another one. What was the first code that was broken for the vault? That what was the password? What was the first code Fuck! for the vault? I know what it is. I, I, I said it out sure. loud, so Okay, well I forget it. I've got it I got part of it. So we're tied again if I get this right. You ready? Yeah. Right, red Castle. Go. Red. Red Castle. Fuck, I put right. red. I don't, I, I, <laughs> I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember the next part. Actually, I think you're one ahead now. No, nope, nope, we're tied. Because you got one ahead. Okay, yeah. okay. Now you are, Todd. What does John say about being cramped in the air vents? I don't, I don't remember y'all talking about this. Well, he says two things. Clinton said it. Clinton said it. Okay. During the podcast, so I did not have to re-say it. Yeah. Not, 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 hey, come to the coast. What does he say about being cramped in in the air vents? 
You're not going to give us one point for each word? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, and as long as it's in the vicinity of, of as long as you say one part of the, the Yeah, same, you're probably looking I'm for one take... word. I got you. Yeah. Well, it's two words. Mm. You're right. I, I don't remember. I can't think of anything. All right. Go, Clinton. Now I know what a microwave dinner feels like. A TV oh. dinner, but yes. He says microwave. He says TV. But it's the same thing. Yeah. I could have sworn it was microwave, but... <laughs> what is the car number that Al Rex? And I did say this. Oh, it's uh. I did say this during the podcast. And, and I'm at that time I start to remember this too. Okay, hold on. Thank I said it. car this. I'm I ready. Said car this. Okay. okay. I, hold on. Take your time. I think. I think. I. I think. I'm not too sure. Okay. Ready. Yep. Eight Two Lincoln thirty. Uh, what do you got? Two twelve. No, that's no, that's not. It was car number one ten. One ten. I thought Damn, he says this is uh, this is eight Lincoln thirty. Not unit. Oh, that's unit number. The fuck. car number. Fuck. It says, and it even shows it later on one ten while it's yeah. Like, okay. But I, I even said you know car one ten. Yeah. No, you're good. Yeah. All right. Here's another. Here's the next one. What candy bar does the terrorist eat while waiting to attack? Uh, I didn't hear it. I heard you say it, but I didn't hear it. I don't remember either. Did I Did I repeat it? Did I repeat it right whenever I said it? No. No, no did you? I think you did. Well, it, I got I got what I wanted. What I want. It used yeah. to be a white rapper. Now it's a black rapper. Oh, that, does that not, helps. That does not help at all. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> in fact, I think they made so it worse. Candy. If someone, if someone likes candy, then they they would maybe know. Can I just say something? Like, yeah, say something. You got something written down? No. I do. Yes, I do. Okay, go ahead, James. Um, Mr. Goodbar. That's not right. I got Hershey's. Go it was a Mars bar. Mars, Mars bar. bar. What the fuck Mars is a Mars bar. bar? Mars bar. It was. It was like so. Mars. Candy Corporation is actually who made Snickers, and it was like one of the originals of how the Snickers were back in the eighties. Mm. It, you Mars know, it came Mars. out with the the caramel and everything else, but it was like their other brands. Okay, where does the news reporter say the Helsinki syndrome is from? Ooh, that's a tongue twister. It's not a tongue twister. It's two two names here. I'm hoping I'm spelling. I, it's not actually where it's from. It's where it's really not from. Oh fuck! Oh really, dude? You gonna do it's, this? I don't remember it then. <laughs> it's what the reporter. I put down what one. The reporter said. Oh, reporter not the said. Expert. Reporter, sorry. The reporter, reporter said it, not gotcha. the expert. I'm still gonna put down what I. I don't remember the other word. So. Uh, okay, let's see. Finland. Norway. What did you put? Norway. Well, it was Sweden, so both y'all got Sweden. it wrong. Sweden. <laughs> I even said, I said it was, he goes, Sweden. He goes, Finland. Yeah, I knew the, the Finland the expert, part. The, the I got the Finland. Corrected him. I we got ought to get a half point since we had the right answer. You had Norway. I had Finland. No, 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 no. Seriously, I have Finland written mm. on first. Okay. I marked it out and I put Norway. <laughs> yeah. But it was Sweden was the answer. Yeah, Sweden was the answer. <laughs> we were on the same page, James. Yeah, we what were. Grid, what grid does the FBI want to shut down? Oh, man. <gasps> we said what do this. you mean, oh, man? There. I got I it. Don't remember. I remembered. You don't remember? It was just a minute ago, too. <laughs> <laughs> You know it's really funny. No, no, shush, shush. I already I know. know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I repeated it, didn't I? I don't know. <sighs> Fun you. You ready? Let's, let's see it. 
52. No, 212, your very first 212, answer. 212, your answer. <laughs> 212, that's what it was from. Okay. Uh, that's, that's, why I, that's why I couldn't go. <laughs> you, you said it during the quiz earlier, but it was the wrong. <laughs> that was one of your answers. That was the card number. For the 110, yeah, you put 212. Damn. The card, the card All number. right. Okay. Who does Hans say he was when he met John? <gasps> Fuck. I got this one. Do I have to have just a first name, right? No, both names. Really, dude? Really? Yeah. Well, if, if you give me the first name, but it better be the first name. <gasps> it is the oh. first name. Okay. Damn, I think we helped out Clinton. I got it. <laughs> Clinton's going to get back the whole name. No. Bill no. Clay. Bill Clay. Clinton's right. No, I thought it was the Ranger. Hans. No, Hans, Ed. not John. Oh. John says he's oh. Boy Rogers. Uh, okay. <laughs> you helped out. You helped out. Clinton. You got it completely. I, I, I was like, first name. <gasps> oh! <laughs> All right. Let's see. Next question. How does Carl die? done because i didn't know this <laughs> yeah <laughs> ready no can i just say that what his title is like what he is i don't remember his name uh yeah that's cool i want to put his whole name <laughs> oh, 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 oh. i actually put his whole name in my answer but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, got shot by the cop that helped John. Got shot Ow. by Al Pal. Al yep. Pal. Al Pal. I helped both y'all out on that one. <laughs> well, I knew I knew the answer. I, I, I thought I he died by he getting shot hung. By, but I didn't. I don't remember his name. All right, we got one more, one more question for points, and then a fun question for no points. How many bullets does John have left when he tries to save his wife? Done. Done. Two. Two. Two is correct. <laughs> all right. Now for all the marbles to see who is the biggest geek out of both of you. Not to win. Clinton won. But yeah. we're going to see who the biggest geek is. What is Al Powell's name in Family Matters? Carl Weathers, right? <laughs> I don't know about Weathers, but Carl, I'm pretty sure, is but right. Carl... I'm pretty sure Carl is. With the but... C. With the C, not yeah. a K. <laughs> yeah. It's Winslow. Carl, Carl Winslow. Winslow. That's what it is. <laughs> and I, I thought that was kind of cool that, like, <laughs> in Family Matters, he goes by Carl, which is who he shot to kill in this movie. Before His I... name was with a K. So I thought it was a kind of cool little oh, yeah. thing. At the very beginning, it was Carl Winslow. At the yeah. very beginning, I didn't know his name. So, like, when the first time I saw him, I just put, and Carl shows up. <laughs> 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 yeah all no, right that was just for for fun clinton won by a few of them just like two i think if you want to watch it probably um, better by three by three i, I would have probably won I, if i would i'm a, i'm gonna tell you right now i went over every single one of those questions in, yeah, well, the, in the thing and one of them in one of them like the construction that was a clearly yeah, reasonable mistake. <laughs> okay. It was a reasonable mistake. You just had to do uh, what, what Cole you should was have saying. you should have realized I said you better go with what I said. I did, but then I forgot. Um, <laughs> and then Carl and Ellis and then yeah, you should have got the two twelve. You should have got yeah, the two twelve. I, I had two twelve. It was just for the car. Ellis Ellis was uh, the dude you the part you didn't like the most. Yeah, well, that's why I thought he was a bad guy. I actually thought he was a good... I thought Ellis was a very good actor, like how he acted whenever he just snorted the coke and he was trying to talk all the time. Like, I actually thought he did a pretty good job at acting his part. Oh, he did. He acted like a total douchebag. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope everybody so enjoyed it. what are we doing it. next week? I have, not figured, doing I next have week? not figured that out yet. I'm you're, not, gonna, you're gonna do ask us a, a top four movies and then put the poll out. 
We can't put a poll out. We have to do it a week before. So yeah, we'll, he won't get this posted until we'll Thursday. figure something out to get to y'all next week. I have not figured it out yet. Uh, we might just do a random movie. I don't know. Hey, why don't we? Hey, why don't we do when I take that? You, I'm taking out. Or are you taking out? You 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 can take out. You're not even going to be with us next week. I know, but when this video hits, okay, next week we're going to have a poll. Yeah, next week we'll have a poll for y'all next week. Actually, yeah. it's going to go up this week. Yeah, this next following week. No, yeah, All right, Monday. folks. Are we ready? Yeah, go ahead and take us out of here. Uh, thank you for watching our video. Please like it. <laughs> <laughs> the burp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go. I, 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 All I, right, guys. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, look. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. It would help us out a lot. Share our content with whoever you please. Um, especially if you just love doing random stuff, sharing things to random people. Do it. Do it. Execute order 66. But anyway, um, check us out next week. We're going to have a random video for y'all. But when this video comes out, we're going to have a poll of our movies that we pick and y'all pick which one out of that you want to go with. It's going to be on Facebook and probably discord. You want to put down discord as well and see what you get. And we'll yeah. tally the bolts. Yeah. So um, go join our freaking discord so you can vote. Yeah. Anything and everything nerd style. So, uh, also join our Facebook group. It's anything and everything nerd style where we have polls, memes, questions, um, just random content. Really. It's fun. Uh, yeah. And don't forget to check out our other channel, Nerd Out, where we talk about Bad Batch, Book of Bane, uh, so far Path to Destruction, um, Mando, we Mando, Andor, all things Goodness. Star Wars. Yes, but uh, yeah. Also check out Clinton's playthrough. It, the next game is coming out what next month? March. March? Yes, yeah, so next month. No, May, <laughs> May, month. May, May, May. Sorry, sorry. May. I May. think it is okay. March. May. Yeah, like, the, yeah, the other M, the other M uh, <laughs> month. Yeah, so check it out. That is going to be the precursor to the next game dropping. It's going to be awesome. Um, I'm doing Goldeneye. Still haven't put up a new video, but I will eventually <laughs> do so. I'm so sorry for the delays. <laughs> and, we, got, uh, we get like weeks of him saying this. <laughs> yes. Every week. He's going on a two-week <laughs> vacation, so don't expect it anytime soon. Well, isn't that two weeks? It's just a week, and I'm not really going anywhere, but maybe I might get it done in the morning. Vacation. Yeah, we'll see. Staycation. We'll see. But yeah. Anything else? Yeah, D&D &D with me and Coleman. Oh, make yeah, D&D. Sure, make sure to check that out. That should be dropping before this video drops, so go over there mm -hmm. and check it out. we got three videos up by now. And we'll be making the new one uh, the day that this one drops. So yeah, it's gonna be epic. Is that it? Is that it? Yep, that I think it? that's it. Other that's than that's all, right. folks. Yep, get the fuck out of here. Peace. All right. All right. Congratulations, we did it, guys. I so I helped both of y'all on that one question about how Coral died. That's pretty solid. That's why <laughs> I wanted to make sure.